What's up, you guys? This is Jay Cook from jcookmusic.com. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set up your workflow to make things easy, to make things convenient, to make things organized, and, uh, you know, help you mix your music, to produce your music, whatever it is you might do. Uh, this will help you. So I'm going to be using Pro Tools for this particular tutorial uh, or how-to. So if you have Pro Tools, follow along. If you don't, I'm sure you can incorporate the same features in your DAW as well. So I'm going to begin by opening up a new session. Now you'll see this screen, this pops up. This is basically, this allows you to open up a recent session, to open up a session somewhere else on your computer maybe, uh, to open up a template that they might have, or to create a blank one. I'm gonna create a blank one, this way we can set up our own workflow, so at the end of it, we can save it as a template, and then you can just go into that, and it just helps you right away. So, blank, I'm using Waves, 44.1, ISO settings depends on whatever you have, 24-bit is what I'm using, click OK. Now, this here is your save setting. Now this is to save it. I'm just gonna go to desktop. We'll do demo session for this purpose. Okay, now that Pro Tools is open. You're probably wondering, you know, where do I begin? Especially if you're new to this. You know, where do I begin? How do I, you know, where do I start other than uploading my, or importing my audio files? What do I do? Um, now, typically what I do is I'll go to track. So at the very top here, I'll go to track, new. And you see, you see audio track here. I'll go to aux input, which will create your auxiliary inputs or your bus tracks. I'll go stereo. And then for this sake, we'll just create seven of them. I don't know if we'll need seven of them, but we'll create seven of them. See this little plus guy over here. We're gonna add another one, but we're gonna create a master fader stereo as well. And we'll create just one of those. So if you're using another DAW, you can do the same features in your other DAW, however you might be doing it. And we're gonna go to create. Now that we got our bus tracks created and our master fader, let's begin by color coding them. So what I do is, is I color code all of my bus tracks yellow. This way when I have you know 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 audio files in my session, I know that all the yellow ones are bus tracks. This just helps keep things organized, helps me realize what I'm doing, where I'm doing, what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it. The master fader I keep red. And this one, like, so this bus here closest to the master fader, I'm gonna create blue, do light blue. We're gonna title this, we're gonna rename this, Submix. Okay, so you're gonna have a master fader, a submix, and then a bunch of auxiliary tracks, if you've done what I've done so far. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna label all these ones here as well. Let's label this, so you have vocals. I'm gonna do vox bus. So you got drums, so we got drum bus. We'll just stop there for now. Whatever it is you might have, you might wanna label all of your auxiliary tracks. For now, I'm gonna make these, we're gonna hide these and make them inactive, that way we don't have them in there. So you'll see now that we have our master fader, our submix, our vox bus, and our drum bus. Say that's our whole session. Say we have nothing else but vocals, drums, and then you have your, your mix bus. What we wanna do is we wanna create, so you wanna to go to the input here. We're gonna create a new one. So, so for bus nine and 10, it could be one, and two, or three and four, whatever it is for you. Uh, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna rename it and we'll put submix. What we're gonna do is here is we're gonna send this master fader. So we'll click on that, go to bus, and we'll send that to the submix. So this will be routing out to the submix. So this will be your, your lead. Everything will be coming out of this. We wanna do the same thing with this. So you wanna go to the input bus, I already have a Vox bus, but you can do the same thing you did with the, the submix. So I'm just gonna click on Vox bus. I'll do the same thing with the drum bus bus. And then I got drum bus here. And we wanna do the exact same thing with this. So we're gonna go into the submix. So whatever your output is, we're gonna go to bus, submix, bus, submix. So now everything is routed to your submix. What I'm gonna do now is so I'm gonna import some audio files I don't know what, just to show you how this kind of works. All right, now that I've uploaded 
or I've imported audio files. I've imported a kick drum and I've imported uh, a snap. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send these to the drum bus. So we're gonna go to the output here, bus, drum bus, bus, drum bus. Now these will be routed out into the drum bus, which the drum bus is routed out into the submix. Now essentially what you do is if you had vocals, you'd import your vocals and then you'd send all your vocals to the Vox bus the same way you sent your drums to your drum bus and then you'd be able to control your vocals through your drum bus. So any processing that I might be doing, I'd be doing through the bus and not the individual tracks unless an individual track desperately needed something like an EQ uh, for a particular kick or whatever it might be, then I would do that. However, to save room, to save processing, I would just do it right on the on the bus channel. That way it keeps things clean, keeps things organized. You're doing very minimal processing uh, and things will end up being faster. Say you're all done your session completely uh, and you're finished and, 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 and you're ready to, to stop and you want to close it down, but you don't want to redo all of this all over again. So what you want to do is you want to go to file, save as template. You don't want to include your media unless you want to save all your files into it, which I don't know why you would, unless you're producing a beat and you have particular, you know, sounds you like to use every time that you produce, it might be convenient for you to have the same sounds in every session. That way it's, it's already there. However, I'm not going to be doing that. You can select the category. So wherever because when you start up the session, you'll see where it said to select the template. You can save the template in there. So I do record and mix because essentially I'd be recording and I'd be mixing in this session. So I would click on that. I can do it as demo session, sure. Click OK, and then it'll save. And that'll be your template. So every time that you go back into create a new session, you'll have that as a template. And then your workflow is that much easier and that much better. Also, one thing that I'd like to add as well is that before you do any sort of processing on any of the channels, on any of your bus tracks, do your processing on your submix. So, you know, throw an EQ on your submix, you know, play with whatever sound it is that you might be doing, you know, dropping the lows or up in the highs or up in the mids or whatever the case might be. Uh, and then that might limit the processing you do on every other channel. That way it saves you, you know, CPU, it saves you, you know, it's over compressing or over EQing. All right, guys. This is Jay Cook from www.jaycookmusic.com. And before we go, bring up my website here. If you're a rapper or a singer or a musician of any kind, um, if you go to my website, you'll see here that there's an offer where you can receive two free beats. Type in your email, hit the subscribe, and you get a link, an immediate link to two free royalty-free beats by me produced by me, 100% free. You can use them for whatever case you might want to use them for, promotion, whatever it is that you want to do. There's two free beats there for you. And there's also a special offer here as well. So please check that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully this is a huge help for you guys. I know it is for me. And take care, guys.